Soothing the stomach. Understanding common English phrases. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, soothe the stomach. This is a common phrase in English, often used in everyday conversations, especially when talking about health and well-being. Understanding phrases like this is crucial for mastering the English language. So let's dive in. The phrase, soothe the stomach, refers to making your stomach feel better, especially when it's upset. The word, soothe, means to gently calm or relieve pain. So, when we say, soothe the stomach, we're talking about doing something that helps ease stomach discomfort or pain. This can be through food, drink, or medicine. You might use, soothe the stomach, in various situations. For example, after eating too much or something that didn't agree with you, you might say, I need something to soothe my stomach. When suggesting remedies for someone else's upset stomach, like, try this herbal tea, it should soothe your stomach. Discussing products or foods known for their calming effects on the digestive system, such as, ginger is great for soothing the stomach. To help you understand better, let's look at some examples in different contexts. 1. Casual conversation. I ate way too much at dinner, and now I need to soothe my stomach. 2. Medical advice. If you're experiencing indigestion, a warm peppermint tea can soothe your stomach. 3. Product description. This digestive syrup is formulated to soothe the stomach and relieve discomfort. It's also good to know related phrases. For instance, settle the stomach, similar to soothe the stomach, but more about stabilizing an upset stomach. Calm the stomach, again, similar in meaning, focusing on bringing relief to stomach distress. Understanding phrases like soothe the stomach is an important part of learning English, especially for conversing naturally and understanding context in conversations. I hope this video helps you grasp this phrase and use it confidently in your daily English. Keep practicing, and see you in our next lesson.